Greetings. I am Michael. Uh, hello. We are here, um, uh, mostly speaking Russian, but I will translate if needed. Um, can you give us a blessing as an introduction? A blessing? Yes, I will give it to you in the angelic language. Is that all right? Absolutely. Mia Karawa Adonai Foshudia from the Afata Aliarahu at TC from shore Shoshi Afria from Akara Winia Sia Sa Safunia Turua or a sea. May God's light always shine upon you and be beautiful in all of your eyes. He is the one you must look for, for strength, guidance, and for handling all the right things in your life. He brings love, health, beauty, wisdom, and guidance. May he always be with you. Shuria Parintita. Mashun Sephoria. Thank you. And may he be with you forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. So, questions to Archangel Michael? Um, do you have DNA? And is, it, is your DNA similar to ours? No. We were a created species. We were created in another realm for another reason. However, when we come to your realm, we do become like humans, and we do have the same kind of DNA because we must interact with you in a human way. So we take on a human form to come to you. Thank you. Do you see the future? We can see it to a small extent, but remember this. God made everyone an individual and they can change their mind. So the future is not all that clear, especially in this day and age, because people are being swayed and people are changing their minds. But there are certain people that will not be swayed and will not change their minds. And those are the ones we look to, to actually gaze upon that part of the future. And it usually comes out the right way unless they're influenced by these others. Does everyone, uh, does every human have an, a keeper, a, an angel keeper? Every human has their own angel, yes. There is one created for every human, and this is to keep them alive until they are not to be alive anymore. That is their main goal, to protect. So that will be very different from spirit guides. Yes. An angel is there. Do you realize that there are situations where a car will be going down the road and all of a sudden it's pulled, pulled out of the way of an accident? You've heard these stories, haven't you? Yes. And those are the angels at work because they are protecting those that must stay alive. So you said an angel is created for everyone or are they reused? So can, is one angel after the death of the human goes to another human? That is possible. But they can follow the same soul if they wish. I see. Get contact with your angel. Did you hear how to get a contact with an angel, with your own angel? There are ways for humans to contact their angels, but it's, it's not easy because they are not there to be talked to. But if there is a reason that is a necessity to talk to your angel, they will speak to you. Uh, what is the process? How does the angel keeper help the human? Is, is uh, the angel keeper uh, helps to make a decision or otherwise? 
The angel keeper only protects. They do not help with decisions except for life and death or protection decisions. If they need to protect you, they will. Oh, um, we would just couldn't remember any uh, Greek, uh, any angels in Greek mythology. Who were the, uh, who would, which beings in Greek mythology would correspond to the angels? Actually, the angels were not written about in Greek mythology. They were oh, mostly aliens that were written about in Greek mythology. However, angels did help as spirits. Those that were, they sensed that they were gods and they were great creatures. So angels had no reason to be around them because they would not admit that they were, angels even existed because they looked at themselves as gods. So we did not really hang around the Greek mythology or Roman mythology characters. They were more alien than they were spiritual. Thank you. Any more questions? Uh, I have a friend. Uh, I think um, you might know her, Katya uh, Kilikovskaya, Afonina Rom, and she is recovering from her sickness. I invite uh, your healing towards her. We will be with her. Thank you. We know of all illnesses. There are some that can be cured and others that are meant to be because they are meant to come to the light at a particular time. Now, there are some illnesses that are caused by other things that are not of the light. And some people are extinguished a little early. And there's nothing to, an angel can do about an illness. They can protect you from knives, cars, fire, many, many things. But they cannot, can, they cannot protect you from yourself in some ways. If you bring upon illness upon yourself, they cannot stop that. Is it the case for Katya? Katya is where she needs to be at this time. Thank you. Any more things? What's your predictions about the Third World War? <laughs> the Third World War. It could happen or it could not. But it, in my opinion, the future looks very dire. What is dire? Bad? Yes, it's not good. Thank you. But I cannot tell you of, of my predictions because they are not founded on what is going to happen. I see. You see, the things that are going to happen, I do not quite know yet. And that will tell me if the war will be there or not. But in my opinion, it looks like it will be there. But that is only an opinion. Thank you. Um, there is a kind of uh, mediumship where you use a plate which moves around the letters. Uh, which forces are moving this plate? Like... I think it's called like something like digital board or plate yeah, moving or things. Digital board. If you're using um, equipment like this, then you are not calling on divine spiritual help. You are just calling for any spirit to answer the question that is around. And so you may get a neutral spirit, a positive spirit, or in many cases, a negative spirit because it's an opportunity. Any more questions? How do you see God? What's your, can you 
uh, give us some image of God. What's, uh, what's the best perception of God? God cannot be seen with just one vision. God is an ever-changing creature of energy, light, and sources. When you look at God, you're looking at the brightness of the universe. You're also looking at every change that is happening in the universe and every bit of energy that was ever created. So therefore, when you look at God, you may see one thing one moment, and that will change every, every nanosecond, because he is never the same, but always the same in power and energy, but never looking the same. Uh, are angels in eternal? Yes. Unless they choose otherwise. Angels have free will as well. If we choose to become human, we will live out a human life. If we choose to become Pleiadian, we will live out a Pleiadian life. If we choose to go into a dark matter or into a darkness, into a, something that is not of the light, then we will live out our existence there for the lifetime of whatever that is. But as angels, we are eternal. If you go and live a life of a human, then you become, you go into an incarnation cycle? I did not hear that question. If you choose to live a life of a human, do you then become caught in an incarnation cycle? Yes. We go to the Oversoul after our passing. If we choose to become an a, a human, then we live human life and we pass into the human afterlife. Thank you. When the new humans are born, where from the, the souls come for the new humans because there is more and more humans? And where from are the angel keepers coming from? <clears throat> I don't think I understood that question entirely. The, the, humanity, the numbers of humanity population grows exponentially. Uh, yes. Where from the souls come and angel keepers come? Yes. The angels are created. And the souls, where from the souls to the new human comes? God puts his fire into every soul. In every single soul that exists, there is a part of God. For he and alone can create life the way it should be. If you create life in a test tube, it may not have that fire with it. But when God creates a life within a being and within an egg or within a womb, it is of God and that is a creation. <coughs> I think we are, we are running out of time. I invite a blessing and um, I will let Jim go. One moment. The human body needed the water. Vriya soshun servia Adonai kwachi shun sila Hallelujah karavia soshun davati Kunuti sofota and seishun sandian viant Aurora soshun sifia tatua Fura on shure divi di angian voshu and shin sin zavata convoidit Toria Tasha on Vokordia Vesian Tieti Torteto. May God bless you and keep you and shine his light upon you and make your way and pathways bright with opportunities and abundance. May you always be in touch with God and your Creator, for he is interested in who you are, your health, and your well being 
although you may not believe it to be so. He is with you at all times. There is no place in the universe without the essence of God within it. Be well and learn to love one another. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. It was very helpful. Your energy is wonderful. Thank you. I love each and every one of you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Hello. Hey, Jim. Welcome back. Hi. How are you? Oh, we're good. Yeah. For, for many, it was a, a new experience. So it was I felt, different. Yeah. I felt my back was kind of feeling the energies of um, mix, mixed, uh, mixed energies. So okay. I, I had to breathe and drink and kind of survive that. But otherwise, it was good. Yes. Know, it was wonderful. Thank you very it much. Was I felt a lot of mixed energies too, but that's fine. This is always good, really. Thank you. I, I will let you go and we will discuss what we heard. All right. Very good. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. It was nice to see you. Nice All right. to see you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Right.